This is the oval stone I was waiting for. It's 10 carats, an ice crystal. It is a stone that is worth about 1,500 euros per carat. It is a very, very pure stone. We have 10 carats, and that stone is worth about 15,000 euros. This one is sold. I'm taking it to Monaco. I'll be back to Paris with it before taking it directly. I'll buy a flight ticket to Nice and bring it back to my client. The most exceptional piece is this emerald in the shape of a heart. It's a 26 carat stone. It's a pretty gem, you see, on a woman's chest. That would look great. This stone, the fact that it's very big, it can easily be worth 2,000 euros. 2,000 euros per carat. Yes, per carat. What's the cost of the one in your hands? About 50,000 euros. In total, Laurent will bring back to France 100,000 euros worth of emeralds. They will be worth twice as much on the market. Gemstones are taxed at 20%. If he declares them, he will have to pay 20,000 euros. In order not to pay this amount, he's going to smuggle them into France. Is it not risky to have them in your pockets when crossing the border? Risk-free. It's not drugs. There are 11 stones, commercial quality, that sell well in Europe for standard jewelers. Or small customers who would like a nice ring for their girlfriend. The most important are in the pocket. I keep them close to me to avoid losing them. We just have to pack. If caught, he risks a fine of 50,000 euros, half the total value. Principality of Monaco, few days later. Laurent entered France without the slightest problem. He arrives on La Rocher with an associate. Did your stay end well? Yes, it was wonderful. The hassle-free return to customs. Everything went as I planned it. We'll supply the stones. We have an appointment with a client. How are you? Well, hello. Great. How did the trip go? Impeccable. Very well. The road. How did you do it? In the car of Elaine. Meet Elaine, my partner. How did it go? Great. Impeccable. Everything went as planned. I brought back the stones, no worries. The import went as planned. Great. I have everything you need. Let me show you. I did not bring a rag. It's not too bad. Let's get it out. Oh yes, that's it. That's the seven carat one. That's 1738, it's clearer. The lower the light, the brighter the color. Yes, I see. It's the green we were seeking. We have this oval one. This stone is really beautiful. It is pretty, and it's very pure. There's nothing in it. I have certificates for each stone. Do you like these stones? It's exactly what I expected. In terms of weight and purity, that's what I wanted. It's really what I was looking for. They are really beautiful. This buyer works for wealthy businessmen. They are people who want to invest their money. So, for that one, in general. Afterwards, you can have other types of clientele. Jewelers are looking for these goods. They have customers who need stones, including emeralds from Colombia. They are the best. For me, they are investors. Right now, the investment stone market is booming. Many people want to make reliable and secure investments in gemstones. Many people invested in gold when it was interesting, in real estate. Today, we are in a delicate situation at this level. Gemstones have become an interesting investment, including emeralds. It increases in value between 7 and 10 percent each year, following the opening of the Chinese market. Colombian diamonds are rare, much more than, for example, a normal diamond, which is not rare at all.
The price increases and is valued every year. It's an attractive investment for those who have money to spend to simply invest. These goods in a safe do not take up space. Its value increases. It's an interesting investment. Here is a 7.20 carat stone. A 10 carat stone. A 17.35 carat stone. How much is the total amount? I find it a bit difficult to say. It's a bit tricky. There are approximately between 40 euros and 60,000 euros worth of merchandise. It's a deal. The intermediary will pay in cash as usual, net of taxes. These stones should be worth an additional 3,000 euros in a year. He takes the opportunity to try to sell his pretty heart. I wanted to offer it to you. It might interest your customers. Of course, there are customers for this kind of stone too. How many carats? 26 carat. 26.24. It's something I can suggest. How much do you want to sell it for? I'm asking for 1,500 euros per carat. In total, how much is it worth? There are 26 carats. You have to multiply by 26. That's about 50,000 euros. Roughly, just under 50,000 euros. The price is still very fair. For a European market, that is correct. Is it the same price, place Vendome, you think? No, definitely not. Afterwards, it's up to the jewelers to do their job behind the scenes. But no, this price is negotiable. It is not a price you will find in the end, once it is assembled for a piece of jewelry. That's for fine jewelry anyway, because of 26 carats on a Colombian emerald. Especially when it looks like a heart, it's pretty peculiar. There are customers for that, obviously. 1500 euros per carat is not expensive. Ultimately, the buyer does not buy the pretty heart, nor any of the other lots. He's satisfied with the three stones provided. Negotiation is over. Laurent is satisfied. Okay, listen, it was nice meeting you. Glad to have seen you again. Goodbye. Thanks, and good luck. Will you send me a message? Let's keep in touch for the heart. And no problem. See you soon, take care. See you soon. Was it a nice deal? It went well, just as I expected. Yes, it's a great deal. Everything went as planned. Now we're going back to Ness. There I'll meet a customer for stones. From there afterwards, I will go back to Paris to home. It's a nice day. A few weeks later, Laurent will sell his heart for 32,000 euros, less than the 50,000 expected. It's still a 25% profit on the Colombian price.